just a little, little light fur color, I think. Awesome. Close that for the time being. Thank you, Desktop Bobcat. Let's put that behind for the time being. I said behind. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Always, always, always. See? Saved. And saved. Look at that. Look at my wolf. He's a green wolf, so I should I guess make his marks black, because otherwise they won't get seen. The nice emerald green, too. Very splatoon color on this guy. This is true, Shifu, but you know, Manga Studio, Clip Studio, I mean, is very stable. Um, I won't say I've never had it crash on me, but it's been rare. It has been very, very rare. That's one of its advantages, is the way it's structured to handle files uh, is much more efficient than Photoshop. Just to, just to iterate, for, and I apologize for those of you who've heard me evangelize about Clip Studio so many times in the past. But for example, right now I'm working on a line layer. And it's a line layer, just because I call it a line layer. But I've made it a grayscale layer. I could make it a bit layer, a monochrome bit layer, I could make it a color layer. But the thing is, in Photoshop, every layer is the same. So when you're working on a high resolution CMYK, every file is, every layer is CMYK. Here, the color files are RGB, the, the grayscale layers, layers are grayscale. The sketch layers, the ones with the blue pencil next to them that are non-printing, are treated differently because they are kind of almost resolution independent until you make them a printable layer their memory allocation is different so that it's a more efficient use of resources 
plus you don't have all those extra bells and whistles that photographers need that uh, illustrators do not. What do you mean CMYK is for cowards, Sirek? CMYK is the lifeblood of illustration. Shifu. Okay, I remember her tits. A poem. Props for props for um, Frantic's reference. I actually found um, a little over a year ago uh I picked up a CMYK gouache set and it has been my best color mixing experience because I get, I mean, I get color mixing. I took color theory. I understand how to mix colors, but mixing CMYK is so direct. Um, it really is. It's like, it's like sliders on the palette, you know? Uh, and, and I admit, you know, color is not my forte, but I got, I'm, I'm pretty good at mixing a color. You know, you give me the, the RGB and, and the cools and the darks and the, this and the, that, and, and I can, I can, I can tell you a warm black from a cool black and I can, you know, mix the temperatures, but it's, it's much more alchemical with your, because it's not RGB, it's RYB, it's yellow. And color theory is light. CMYK works. And it's so weird, you know, you, you mix your, you mix your magenta and your yellow and you get red. You get pure red and you can adjust it with white and black very easily and you can adjust it with complementaries very easily add a little bit of blue and and you can dial that and after working digital and always mixing my color cmyk in the digital environment to ensure they were print safe it's very very um ingrained in me to think cmyk and you can do cmyk on the computer and it's very equivalent to what you do on the palette Versus on the computer, you're doing RGB, and on the palette, you are faking it with yellow and green and, you know, all the rest. So, it's that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, Shifu, it's... it's. I don't know why you say it's for cowards. I... I there are... There are... Uh, I have a friend who's into these, you know... He's, he's a much better painter than I ever will be. And he will talk about color palettes where he's got... Da, da, hi, Paul! Everyone, Paul McCall! Give it up for Paul McCall, great cartoonist. Um, this is one of those things, Paul. It's, it's one of the most basic things. I'm not even sure how I learned it anymore. Um, but Photoshop does it. Clip Studio does it. And it's the best thing. You can have more than that open. So you go to Window, Canvas, New Window. And it opens up a new live window. And you can have as many of them as I can open up another one. Look, I opened up another one. I'm going to put it over here. So now I've got three of them open and they are all active which means if i need to i'm working on a detail over here but then i need to come over here and put in like a big spray of that it'll update on the other ones very handy and so what i usually do is i have uh, a second window open uh, full size full view on my secondary monitor uh, but for the stream, I've just got a small one here so everyone can see the zoom out look. And I usually will have a third one open over here as well. So very handy. Much better than the, the Navigator window because the Navigator window is a fixed size in your tablet. And um, you can't 
do much with it. I'm glad I could help, Paul. But yeah, you can do it in you can do it in Photoshop too. No problem. It is one of those things where I do not I like I'm surprised you don't know it. But so many artists over the years I found don't know that and I don't know why. Like I said, I'm not sure where I learned it anymore. Probably Bobby Chu. Possibly the net. Like I just, I honestly can't remember. All right, I'm gonna make this. Right, and it, it's just so handy. It's so. I'm glad you found Zanjian. But yeah, if, I mean, if you get color theory, then that's just like brilliant. Like you can just. My my friend who who now does landscape paintings, he's like, oh, I'm now working in the weird name palette, and he's got kind of a, he's got like a muddy blue and a weird green and a snotty yellow, and somehow he's getting brilliant reds from that. Like I don't know what's going on here. He's got these weird color palettes, and it's all about simultaneous color. It's all about what one tone looks like next to the other and how the brain interprets it. it it's very cool hi taylor yes i'm back so yellow is the best yellow i couldn't tell you how he does it but it's it these are these are things that real painters who have experimented with color have come up with these great combinations and said you know what you can do this and you can do this and it's it's sort of a short I shouldn't say it's a shortcut it's like you don't need the full palette because you're say painting plein air forests and these are the colors of nature so reduce your your travel palette and you can still get everything you need you can take it back to the studio add a few to accent colors if you need to but this is something you can take with you to leapfrog you closer to what you want to do and I've heard of similar things for like, you know, if you're doing portraits, you want this palette because these are flesh tones and these are, you know, summer light tones and these are golden hour tones and these are, and they all have wonderful old European names and things like that. So, pardon me. I'm a simple man. I'll stick with my CMYK. You know, I think I learned it in Photoshop and then when I started doing things in, in Manga Studio, I'm like, well, there's got to be a way to do this. And you just hunt around and you find it. It's like, there's got to be a way to do masks. Oh, yes, here it is. It's even called masks. It's, Cork Express was horrible for that. They'd be like, okay, yes, we're going to do it, but we're going to name it something totally weird so you can't find it. <clears throat> 